Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 15 October. It's a Thursday. Let's see what's going on today. Euro didn't do much overnight. 40.55. Doji yesterday, indecision, so we traded up to about 70 down to about 25 closed right here in the middle um, around 53 could go either way today I think uh, no real no real strong view we've got um, Philly Fed the uh, ADP today, EU Economic Summit, so there'll be more more talk from ECB types. A um, few FOMC people. I think it's really just going to take its cue from the stock market and, and uh, general COVID news. Cable yesterday, very, very frustrating. Um, we got long at 129.40. Ended up actually losing money on that trade, which is a little bit embarrassing, uh, but it happens. Kick the can down the road as we expected. They have to make a deal, which we kind of know. Um, <clears throat> now at 130.22, it's just, you know. It's how do you manage the news bombs, basically, is, is this. So if you're a news junkie, this could be fun for you. Um, the next piece of good news should push us up to 13150. Uh, there were very good sellers at 13065 yesterday. So once we get through those, um, should be some clear sailing. The, the best way to trade this is kind of wait for the bad news to come in and fade that. Uh, but that's a real tough, dicey way to trade. Anyway, a bit frustrated uh, with the world right now. Part of it is because of that cable trade. Dollar Swiss, uh, not really sure. I mean, could go either way. Dollar Yen traded down to 03 yesterday through these sort of 25... There was liquidity at 25, and once we got through that down to 03, I'm expecting consolidation here between 25 and 35, looking for further downside in dollar yen, um, but in like a slow, methodical way. Euro yen, nothing to see, nothing to do. Sterling yen the same. This is an interesting chart now. Somebody's at uh, 1658 selling. Um, no idea why uh, or who that is, but once that gets cleared, um, opens up to some upside. So keep an eye on this level 58. Max charts not as not as sexy, uh, but consolidating, and it looks like we're having a slow turn here, and this makes sense because equities sort of flushed down. Um, yesterday no one cares about dollar swiss aussie is just doing what it's doing right ever since we got the news about china and um you know no more aussie coal uh add in a little bit of global risk off and here we are 7134 got up to 90 yesterday a couple of times but now we're just continuing our little downward dance this probably gets to uh, 70 cents. Um, we like Aussie lower. Euro Aussie, when it's risk off, we like. Uh, this is an interesting level we've been talking about for a long time 165.90, 100 points away, which is not a lot in Euro Aussie, in Euro Aussie language, in the language of Euro Aussie. Um, up half percent already, so today will be awkward up there, but. Keep an eye on this 165.90 level. Aussie yen, lower. Swiss yen, no one cares. Euro sterling, lower now, right? 
This is sort of a safer way to trade Brexit, less fall, but still a pain in the ass, right? I mean, just fully news driven. How do you manage news? Don't ask us, we didn't manage it super well yesterday. This is what everyone's going to have drawn here now. Shoulder, shoulder, head. 65.28 today. Does Kiwi play catch up with Oz? Maybe. Does Dollar Cad play catch up with Oz? Doesn't look like it. She just does not go up very well right now, Dollar Cad. Went up to 62. You see these these forceful bars where they push through the highs, but then they come right back down. Kind of reminds me of the Dollar Max chart. Um, it looks like she's slowly turning, but this could just be consolidation for another leg down. Excuse me. So, no real, no real strong idea in uh, Dollar CAD. Euro CAD, nobody cares. Dollar Turkey, <clears throat> surely those are are, are uh, bids from the central uh, offers from the central bank at seven ninety five. Um, it's just a matter of time before those go. Dollar Turkey still looks like she's going higher. Consolidative day in gold yesterday, figure seventeen. Our friend ZB are just hanging out at the highs here with this risk off. We're in no rush to add to shorts, but we still are core short. Crude zing tire uh, on, I guess, some positive uh, car data out of China. And what else? I don't know. Just big consolidation here in crude between 43 and 38 or 36 bucks. So we're right smack dab in the middle of that. But we are taking a peek towards the top end of this recent range. 41.80. Interesting up there. This chart is just astounding. This is BTPs. What in the God's name of Jehovah is that? This is the new contract. This is the Dees contract. 600 points up. Yields lower in a straight line. That is not going to end well for whoever owns that shit. We're square BTPs now. We're not fighting what is obviously some sort of forced strong buying trend. But this makes very little sense to us. It's all we got today, really. I mean, this uh, this dollars are. Uh, levels is of interest to us and oh yeah dollar china dollar china cleaned out a lot of stale longs yesterday where is dollar china we like this higher again now so we cleared out a lot of these two days here so we were what we were 600 700 points higher back down sort of 500 points. I bet if you did the fibs, that's around 61.8. Um, but anyway, whether it is or it isn't, we do like dollar China higher, um, especially now that we've cleared out some of the original longs that got long on Monday. So keep an eye on this. Where do you get long? Where do you kill it? You probably kill it through 670. Uh, you can get long sort of on dips today down to uh, down to that level, maybe 6, 70, 50. Um, we like dollar China higher today. Anyway, said enough. Good luck out there, people. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.